Your eyes do a lot more than just help you see. They can also help doctors learn more about your mind and cognitive health. Dr. Pyle Coley joins us this morning with more about research being done to use our eyes to detect Alzheimer's. This is very interesting. So we always thought the eyes were a window into the soul, but they can actually be a window into our body. Absolutely. This is fascinating. So if you think about the eyes, they're a little tiny organ. And the fact that you can look into the eyes actually tells you that you can sort of look into the organ under uh -huh. the microscope, see those tiny little blood vessels in the eyes, see the retina, which is kind of the computer screen of the eyes, and know what's happening in the other organs based on the changes that first happen in the eyes. And, and what's interesting is the changes in the eyes sometimes precede the symptoms. So they actually happen before you develop any of the other symptoms. And we see this with hypertension or high blood pressure. We see this with diabetes, where the eyes are sort of the telltale sign of the body as to what's happening. What is this like? Is it vision? Is it blurriness? What are, what are they looking for? Yeah, that so you yourself won't have any symptoms, but if your doctor looks into your eyes, what they'll see is they'll see increased deposition of a protein called beta amyloid. And in fact, that's what happens in Alzheimer's. The protein gets deposited into the brain, but here you're seeing it first deposited into the eyes. You'll see death of healthy cells. So you'll see kind of more healthy cells dying. You'll see lack of the repair cells. So our eyes have cells that go around doing kind of the repair work. There's fewer of those, and you'll see more inflammatory markers. And and it's not just what you see, Corey, but it's also where you see it. So the distribution of this type of changes in the eyes, is it happening in the middle of the eyes or in the edges, will also tell you about what the disease is doing. So will this change research when it comes to Alzheimer's and dementia? Incredibly so. And that's what's wow. so amazing about this study because we're talking about a much earlier diagnosis of Alzheimer's occurring maybe before even a lot of the cognitive changes set in. So you could look into somebody's eyes and think about this almost like a screening modality where you could diagnose Alzheimer's, start to initiate treatments a little bit earlier, perhaps before the disease has really sort of taken hold. So that can completely change the landscape. You don't have to wait for those memory changes to occur. And then disease monitoring as well. So at this point, we don't have have great ways to know what's happening to the disease, how quickly is the Alzheimer's progressing. We just sort of wait to see what happens mm -hmm. with the memory changes. But looking into the eyes could tell us just how quickly that's happening. What about other diseases, like looking at this protein that's showing up and like comparing it to other things? Yeah, so I mean, that's what's really fascinating about this. It opens up the whole field of using what we call retinal biomarkers. So instead of checking a blood test or mm -hmm. some other test, we look into the eyes as a way to monitor a whole host of diseases. And I mentioned and hypertension and diabetes, but there's yeah. a whole lot of other diseases we can think about that are not eye diseases, they're systemic diseases, but they can manifest themselves with eye changes. So we're really starting to think about novel ways in which we can start to diagnose earlier and be more aggressive about surveillance. Is this something that's kind of new for eye doctors or is this something eye doctors now need to kind of be aware of so that they can report it back? You know, I would say more the latter. Eye doctors are some of the smartest doctors in medicine mm -hmm. because they are literally looking into the organ that's uh, themselves and, and reporting to internal medicine doctors like myself that I need to do better, for example, with hypertension control. So I think the fact that we are now learning about this on a more global level, individuals can also start going for more regular eye exams as a way to start to pick up signs of other types of diseases early before they manifest themselves. So I think we're going to see a shift in medicine about how we start to think about diagnosing disease. Wow, that's fascinating. Dr. Coley, thanks for coming in.